All right, so we're going to make like a Spotify type playlist, uh, radio, radio playlist picker. Um, so to do that, we first need to just create some buttons, and we'll do that along the top. So I'll go horizontal arrangement, I'll go over to width and fill parent, push OK. And let's go to user interface, interface, let's grab a button, let's grab another button, and another button. So three buttons, all in the horizontal arrangement. All right, so let's click on the first button, and the text for this one will just be play. And we'll go up here and change the name to play as well. Okay. Button two, this will be called pause. And we'll rename it pause. The actual button we'll rename. So the difference between um, this one, this is the button name, and this is what's displayed when the app is shown. And three, we're going to do a random. So rename random. Right here. Random. Okay, so uh, let's do, let's click on this one and go um, percent 0.33. Let's go 33. And they'll all be 33. Okay. So these will be our three buttons. And then what we need is a list view. We just drag that in there. And this won't actually um, show the list. It'll just sort of look like this right now. And then we also need a um, player. Also drag this in there. And then you also won't see this. It'll say non-visible components will be the player. All right, so that's all we need for, um, for this part. Let's see if we can change a couple of things here. So background color, um, selection color, fine, fine, text color. All right, this is all fine. Cool, all right, stay tuned for the next part. Click on blocks. Okay, so let's put this thing together now. So the first thing we're gonna do is get some global variables. Okay, so the first one is going to be about the actual playlist and the second one's going to be about the names of those playlists. So I'm going to call these names. I'm going to call this radio. So for the radio stations. Okay, so these are going to have a bunch of radio stations, so we're going to need some lists. So let's go uh, make a list. And we'll just do three. So click right here and drag this item right there and close it. We'll copy and paste. Do, actually, let's get the text first. We're going to add three strings. Oops. So copy, paste, and paste. Drag those in there, and then we're going to copy and paste that whole thing and put it over there. All right, so I already have some playlists, and I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, how to get your own playlist because I'm sure you want your own types of your own favorite kinds of music but uh, for now I'll just show you I'll give you these and you can get your own here in a minute and I've got some Beatles whoa and we have some pop hits All right, so this will be called New Age. This one's Beatles. And this one's Pop. OK, so there's our global variables. Um, cool. So then there's those three buttons that we had. So let's just say. Um, Let's do when play is clicked, when pause is clicked, and when the random button is clicked. 
We'll do pause really quickly because that one's very fast. So let's go to player and just need a pause. That's the easiest one. All right, so when we play though, so when we play it has to, um, it has to grab the one that we clicked on. So the, the word that we clicked on. So the first part is easy. Let's go ahead and start the player. Okay, and the second part, the second part, we're going to set, let's see here, we're going to set the, so we're gonna to go to the list view and we're going to set list view elements, squeeze it right in the top there. And we're going to set the element to um, the item in the list that we clicked on. So we need to select select list item. Okay, and which list do we want? So we'll just click right up there. We're going to get radio list, and then we're going to um, let's see here. Click on the list view, and we're going to get the selection index. So the list view selection index. This is what you clicked on. This is the index, so the number, which one you clicked on. And it's coming from this list. All right, so there's your play. These insides are actually fairly similar for the random. So we're going to grab those again and put them in there, except for the random, we need to get a random number generator. So we're gonna get a new variable here. Initialize global name to, uh, we're gonna call it random. Okay. And let's just set it to, to one for now. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, now, instead of clicking on the one we want from the selection index, we're going to click on what we're going to click on the button. It's just going to randomly generate one. So we're going to go up here to our variables. We're going to set. Get it in there. Set global random to. And we're going to go to math here and get a random integer. So when that's clicked, it's going to randomly generate a number between, I only have three radio stations, so you can put in three here if you know how many radio stations you have. Uh, a smarter way to do it would be to go to this right here and click on um, the length. Here it is right here. The length, so let's get rid of the three. So the length of the list, and which list do we want? We want the radio one. It could also be the names, because they're always going to be the same length. OK, and then we're not going to grab it from the, the selection index. It's going to be, the random number. So get the random number right here. Um, and go ahead and set the index to that random number. So it's going to be one, two, or three in our case. OK, so that should be working. I think that's it. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and try it out. Actually, let's go ahead and add another station in first so I can show you how to do that. So if you go to just Radioonomy's uh, website, and there's uh, lots of different kinds of radio websites or whatever. So what you want to do is go ahead and push control click or right click and you're going to go to inspect so you can see the source code for the page here. And then what you're going to do is click network and go ahead and you can push play on one of these and it should start playing. And the one that you want is the one that's getting longer. You can see it's here. So just click right there, and this is the request URL. And you can just copy that whole thing and push stop here. 
That's, uh, and then go ahead and click right here, add an item. Copy, well, never mind, I just lost my copy here. Let's copy that again. And let's go to text, add another text box, paste that in there. And then let's go ahead and add another text box here and another list item. And we'll just call this one, um, I don't remember what it was called. It was called Radio Mix of some kind. It was called Mix. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and check out how our app is working. Actually, there's one more thing I forgot to do, and that's an initialize this list view once we start. So go ahead and click screen one, and we'll initialize. You initialize your list view. So set list view elements two, and we don't want to see these names here. We actually want to see the name, so we're going to get global names. And that should be it. So let's go test it out. Okay, here we go. Keep your eyes closed. Okay. I want to show you my first ever painting. Ooh, all right. Okay. <laughs> 